it is it is one year now since um, our current president was uh, sworn into office and and i think uh, god has been gracious and he's been faithful we have not had it very rough even though everyone says it has not been very easy but every christian knows that even the way to heaven is not easy when i when i was growing up we, we used to sing and say it's no than easy way we are traveling to heaven so men are the thorns on the way uh pastors uh you need to be conscious also uh, the president has been in office for one year and uh, most pastors had a lot of expectation i want to appeal to many pastors not to to cast the government you pray for it i i listened to what pastors were saying when we went to pray for for the rains sometime last year the truth is most pastors and intercessors prayed for this government to be in power the government is in power the reason why god wanted this government is because of revival and i've said severally it is not the government to conduct the revival it is us we have done one year the president has been in office for one year how much have we done as pastors as it pertains to revival the president is not coming to fund any crusade if any pastor somewhere is seated and waiting for President William Ruto to conduct a crusade, you are wasting your time. Pastors, listen. When I prayed for this time, the Lord gave me an uh, analogy for the second time. He told me, whatever we were doing, we were supporting the bride and the bridegroom. We, are, we were the committee for the wedding. We must be conscious of where our task ends. The marching squad, the wedding committee, their job ends when the wedding has been done. Actually, if we are given an extension, it is at the reception. That's the extension. So every pastor listening to me all over the country, let's wake up. Let's wake up to reality. Let us allow the president to do his job. Let us do our job. We are thousands of us. The president is not coming to build for us churches. If you are a pastor and your church is not building, do it. When you are working in a committee of a wedding, there are a few privileges you enjoy before the wedding day. One of the privileges is that you sit in hotels, you can take tea as you are planning and you can constantly and regularly receive calls from either the bride or the bridegroom but don't expect those calls after the wedding after the wedding your job is over go back and restructure your life we cannot live in the mood of a wedding every time. You must be conscious to that fact that the wife that has been married will not continue wearing a gown for the entire week. Immediately after the wedding, you must be able to see the signs and get back into business. There are many pastors who are waiting that this government is ours. We put it in place, and therefore we must receive this and this. My friend, even if you are expecting to produce a child, after the child has been produced and is growing up, you cannot fail to discipline simply because you carried for nine months. You cannot fail to discipline your child. You cannot say, I am not going to Cain because I carried for nine months. One of the reasons why you must cane the child is because you carried for nine months. So you did not carry to bring a mongoloid. You carried for a reason and a purpose. So the, 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 the pastors and the, the bishops and the, the apostles must be conscious that uh, 
the wedding is over and the reception is over it is high time for everyone to begin functioning according to their calling and their position let the president work let us also work all we know, we need is uh, a conducive environment men of god kindly let us concentrate on revival we have the liberty to preach let's preach <laughs> President Trudeau will fund our churches. He will sponsor prayer meetings. He will build for us mountains of prayer. He will open for us media houses as a church. He will pay for us adverts. Pay for who? You pay the government and run your advert. Oh, we are going to conduct crusades freely. The stadiums will be free. And the grass will grow itself. And the workers in the stadium will automatically be paid by God. You take one million people to the stadium, they go to the toilet, and you expect the president to pay. I wish the pastors should know that when you produce a child, you support the child. If truly we produce this government, let us prepare to support the government. The government cannot support us. We support the government in all ways, including paying our taxes. That is the reality, and it's a bitter reality. I know most pastors are not praying aggressively as they were praying before the elections. If there is a pastor out there, or an apostle, or a bishop, waiting... For CDF. Please wake up. Listen to the call from Pastor Murabe. Wake up. Wake up. Let us carry revival. Let us organize our troops. Let's tell the church members not to wait for anything from any government whatsoever. Let's wake up. Let's wake up. If we believe you are doing a divine assignment, then the reward that is not Ruto, it will be Jesus.